What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be setting up a new DIY patio pond with a bog filter which is going to include a clean out valve for some easy maintenance. I'm also going to be including a pre-filter for some extra mechanical filtration and to stop any fish from being sucked up into the pump. But that being said, the sun is very much shining. I've got my Factor 50 on, so let's build a pond. So I think I've got everything I need for the build laid out on the decking here. I've got this massive planter here that I picked up from a local garden centre to use as the actual pond and uh, I've got his little his little brother here to use as the bog filter. I've got uh, various different sizes of gravel all laid out here for the bog filter. Got some building sand there, various bits of plumbing. That's the pump I'm planning on using, some bricks, some decking and some foams. And over here is where I'm planning on putting the pond. This area is currently a bit of a storage area for some extra pond plants that I'm not currently using, but I probably will use a few of them in this build. And this is actually on the other side of the garden to the rest of my ponds, but it should be quite nice because over there is where the sun sets. So this little area here does get the last little bit of the sun of the day. That being said, I'm gonna get this area cleared and I'll see you when I'm done. And there we go, all nice and clear. Ended up just dragging that plant storage bin over there a little bit. Uh, had a good sweep. I've uh, even cleaned the window and uh, I even gave the edge of this grass a little trim. So now this area is clear, it's time to put the base down. Now I may be going a little bit overboard here, but I'm going to start by putting some sand down, then a slab, then some insulation board, a wooden board on top of that, and then some foam board on top of that. And that's going to make a good solid base for the pond, which is going to insulate it nicely as well, ready for the winter. Okay, so the base is down. We've got the sand, the slab, the insulation board, the wood, and then on the very top, we've got the foam board. Let's get the pond into position. Okay, so the pond is now in position. So what we want to start thinking about next is cutting some decking boards to go across the top of the pond so the filter can sit on the top. So I'm going to get them measured and cut to size and uh, we'll get them on. Okay, so that's the decking boards cut to size and placed into position. Uh, holding up the bog filter there. If I just move that out of the way, I'll just show you. I have left like a little gap just at the back because that's going to be handy for like cables and airline tubing and you know stuff like that. So next up, I'm going to get a bit of this natural oak wood stain on because obviously we need to keep this protected because we need it to stay nice and strong because this is what is going to hold the bog filter up. So I'll get some of that on now and then once that's done, we can crack on with the filter build. Okay, so that's the stain on. Uh, we'll do the other side in a bit as well. But whilst that's drying, let's build the filter. Okay, so here is our plastic planter that we're gonna be turning into a bog filter. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple of holes to it using my little hole saw here. I'm gonna put one at the front here, which will be for the water outlet, where the water flows from the filter back into the pond. And I'm gonna put one in round the back here, which is for our little clean out valve. Okay, so I've marked where I want the holes. I want one about there. And I've got the other one marked round the back here. So let's get them holes done now.
So our holes are now drilled. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna add our 22 millimeter tank connectors. Okay, so that is our tank connectors in and tightened. So what I wanna do now is to finish off this clean out valve. So what we're gonna to need to do is to add some of this one inch pond hosing to this clean out valve. But first we want to add one of these flow regulator stop cock type things into the hosing. So we'll get that done now. Okay, so that's the little stop valve put in and I can tell you getting that hose in over there was not easy. I even tried the whole trick of putting the hose in, in some boiling water to soften it up and it did help a bit, but it was still hard. But anyway, what we need to do now is to put this end onto here. So I'm gonna do that quickly now. So that is our clean out valve finished. So I've connected the hose to the little tank connector there and uh, obviously added a little metal fastener thing to it but how this will work is that this valve here will remain in the closed position for the majority of the time but every now and then when we want to flush out the filter we'll open that up and obviously all the water will then rush out through here and it will pull out all of the debris and waste that is gathered at the bottom of the filter and then what you can do is all of the wastewater that comes out through here you can water your garden with so yeah that is the clean out valve done okay so the next thing we need to do is the water outlet it is however starting to get pretty late so i'm going to do that tomorrow so i will see you in the morning and just like that, it is the following morning. And before we crack on with the build, just wanted to say, if you are enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe think about subscribing as well. We've got lots of cool content planned for the future. But that being said, let's crack on with this build. Okay, so as I said before, the next thing I want to get finished is the water outlet pipe. And to do that, we are gonna to need to make one of these. And I made this with some PVC pipe that's been cut to size, a couple of elbows and an end stop. And it's all been glued together to make sure it's nice and secure and this pipe here has had a load of small holes drilled into it and once all that's dry that is basically going to just fit in to our little tank connector and how this is going to work basically the water is going to be pumped from the pond into the bottom of the filter it'll then rise up through all our different layers of rock and gravel which i'll be putting in later it will then rise up to this point where it will overflow into these holes, go down this pipe, through here, and come back out into the pond. Okay, so now that is completely sorted, we need to sort out a way of getting the water from the pond and to the bottom of the filter. And that is gonna be really simple. Basically, I'm gonna be using some one inch PVC pipe and an elbow. And that is basically just gonna sit in the filter, just like that. It'll be held up by the rock and gravel. And basically the pond pump will pump the water up through this tubing. And that tubing will just sit in there like that. And the water will go to the bottom of the filter. Okay, so our filter is now very close to being completed. The last thing we need to do is to create a void space at the bottom of the filter. And the way I'm gonna be doing that is by using some of this light diffuser egg crate stuff. This is actually some sort of thing that I bought on Amazon. And I think it's actually specifically designed for like koi ponds and stuff like that. I'll put a link in the description for it along with, you know, all the other bits and bobs I've been using. But basically, yeah, what I'll do is I'll cut this to size and I'm gonna place it on a couple of bricks, which will create a nice little void space at the bottom of the filter where the waste will actually gather and then we'll remove that waste by using a little clean out valve. So 
I'll get this all put to size now, get it into position, and we'll have a little look at it. Okay, so here's the filter, pretty much finished. As you can see, we've got the bricks at the very bottom there with the egg crate laid on the top, which just creates that nice void space at the bottom where the waste will gather. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take it all apart, rinse it all off and uh, get it into position. And uh, we'll have a quick look at it just before I add the rock and the gravel in there. Okay, so everything is now back in position. I've uh, rinsed out the filter, rinsed out the pond, the decking boards obviously back on and stained. The filter is all ready to be rocked in. I've also added a little bit of foam board underneath the filter just for a little bit of extra cushioning. And inside, I've added a little bit of tape just over what I think were little like noggins for, if you were using this as a planter, which is what it is intended for, uh, I think you would knock them out to use as drainage. And I was a little bit worried that might be a weak spot. So I've just used a little bit of pond tape and just gone over any of these little notches just to give it a little bit more strength. Probably not needed, but thought better to be safe than sorry. Did the same inside the filter as well. And what I'm gonna do now is to add the rock and the gravel to the bog filter. Starting with the largest rocks at the bottom and working my way to the smallest at the top. Okay, so that is the rock and the gravel in. So let's get this pre-filter sorted ASAP and uh, we can get some water in here and get it flowing. Okay, so pre-filter wise, keeping it nice and simple. Basically, I've put the pond pump inside this pot and basically I'm just gonna cut a few bits of this coarse filter foam and put it over the top of the pump. And that is just basically gonna add a little bit of extra mechanical filtration. But the main reason I wanna do it is to stop any little fish from potentially getting sucked up into the pump. I'm also going to be adding one of these non-return valves. This is going to stop the water from siphoning back out of the bog filter in the event of a power outage. I'm going to put one of these flow control valves on as well and that being said let's get all of this put together and we can get it in the pond and get things running. So there we go, the pre-filter is done. As you can see, I've added a few rocks to the top. That is just to uh, naturalize it a little bit really, but that is now ready to go into the pond. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some substrate to the bottom of the pond. Then I'm gonna add the pre-filter. Also gonna add an air stone. Then I'm gonna fill the pond up with water, put some pond plants in there, and then we can get the pumps turned on and check that this all works.
Okay, so we are all done. Uh, there is the pre-filter there. I've got that sat on a plant pot. That just sort of lifts it up off the bottom of the pond, which will stop there being any possibility of the pump being able to empty the pond. And uh, it's actually got some holes in it as well. So it makes like a nice little cave for the fish. And uh, if we have a little look around the back, I've actually left a bit of extra hosing here. And that will allow us to completely lift the pre-filter out, put it on the floor when we want to do any cleaning. Uh, otherwise, it'd be like pretty much impossible to clean it out. Not that I think it will need cleaning out very often, but when it does, it will be nice and easy. And plant-wise, we've got the umbrella plant at the back. We've got some nice typha here. We've got the horse tail. And inside the pond, we've got some oxygenating pondweed, a water lily, and uh, some nice floating plants on the top. That being said, let's get this pump turned on and get this bog filter running. And there we go, flowing nicely. And I don't think we've got any leaks everything's looking all good behind there and uh yeah it's not flowing too quickly but i could increase that flow if i wanted because it's sort of about quarter of the way open at the moment but for a bog filter to work effectively you don't actually need too much flow and uh plus the uh, fish that i'm planning on putting in here aren't a big fan of too much flow either so i think this pond is about done now the only other things i want to do to it is i'd quite like to add some like insulation around the around the pond itself and the filter Put a little trim around the base because i think that would look nice i also want to somehow add some lighting not 100 percent sure how i'm going to do that yet and obviously we've got to add some fish but that will be in the next video so hit that subscribe button and i'll see you then